Hello, everyone. We're back after quite a long hiatus, but uh, we're going to get kickstarted here on a new series playing All of Fabric 5. Heaps of mods in this pack, many of which I've never seen before. Um, we've got some cute capybaras. It's got magic, it's got tech, it's got create. Oh my god, that's going to be complicated. But yeah, the aim is we're going to try and go through all of these. I've tried to build lots of cool structures. Not sure I can do anything as nice as that, but we'll give it a go and we'll automate things uh, where we can. I'll explain what I learned about the mods, <laughs> about the mods along the way. And yeah, hopefully someone else will find it useful. So let's jump in. Let's see, we've got a couple of books here. The quest book and another one. Quests. Oh, that's cool. So it's organized. Building staffs. Applied energetics. Oh my god, I was hoping to avoid that. I've never built an ME system properly, so that'll be interesting. All right, let's get started then. This chapter will introduce you to the basics. We offer all these things. Enjoy. We get a backpack. That was the easiest quest I've ever done. I feel like running thousands of blocks. Use this guy to help find your way. Cool. Okay, well. We'll get back to that, and this is Welcome to Other Biomes You'll Go. Plenty of cool looking things. All right, we definitely don't want to lose those. Let's put them away in our backpack. I don't really care about the compass at the moment. I know we can equip that to our backpack slot and access it with B, which is really handy. So how do you start uh, episode one? I only play through. Normally there's punching of some trees. Let's try that. You can do it this way, the loser's way, or you can hold on to the tilde key. Hold shift and scroll to get different types. Escape tunnel, small tunnel, mining tunnel. All right, shapeless. And we can punch all these trees down in one go. Nice. Can we put this on a stick? We can put it on a stick. The access that you just use it like that. Oh, that's pretty handy. Oh, already we have treasures. Wow! What is that? <laughs> A mimic. Oh, this is Terraria. That's where it's taken inspiration from. Oh, oh what did you drop? A mimic core. Can I eat it? No. Is it another one of those? Fool me once, shame on you, but... What if it's a real treasure? <laughs> oh, you're not real! Where did it go? Ah, uh, it's probably more scared of me than I am of it. What have we got here? Oranges. Ooh, this place. With two of them, I can make an orange tree. That's probably what I want to do, so I'll save two of them. I don't feel very safe out here. At all. Maybe I should have prioritized getting sheep. Oh, this is one of those towers. The head of the tower seems to be over here. I'm making achievements all over the place. Ah, proper treasures. Nice. Oh, and I wouldn't mind some coal so I can get some lights up in here. There are some skeletons coming my way. So I must not delay. Are these achievements here? Yeah, they are achievements here. You break that, you get a... I got an iron scythe. Random reward. Oh, I can break them. Why would I... Why would I leave it here then? Yoink. What the hell is this thing? Oh, that guy has a trident. Or he has a something. A key to the city maybe? I'm not sure. Now I'm kind of cheating here. <laughs> Using the minimap to... Avoid the, the bad guys. So I'll keep running around and we'll we'll circle back once the sun comes up. So we found ourselves a village now. Always a good thing to do. Nice, we can loot this village. Might set my spawn. Hey guys, keeping the village safe? Yeah? There's your payment. 
You don't want my carrots? Not fun. I was hungry anyway. Ooh. Looks a nice treasure. Unfortunately, fortunately I've got nowhere to put it. But if I can find a bit more iron, I can upgrade my backpack here. I know what you're thinking. Here's some iron, but no, nah, I'm not going to play like that. <laughs> oh, little baby! I get stepped on. Some bread. Oh, yes, please. That's an upgrade. Not the kind of iron I was hoping for, though. What you got? You got me six? Hmm. I think the backpack. Oh, I need leather. Leather first and then iron. What is this thing? What are you? Your friend or foe? You look like a friend. Oh, you're so beautiful. Come here. You're a, a mythic mount. Oh, I haven't got any meat to give you. You don't like meat? Don't know what you're missing out on. Not more treasure. Oh, hello, villagers. What are you guys doing here? Chilling? Oh wait, there was a front door this whole time. It was on the back though, that's that's why I couldn't see it. Don't look. I I need the leather. Oh, I felt terrible doing that. And I didn't even get any leather. Oh <laughs> my god. A netherite ingot. Oh, and some Iron, that's nice. We'll need that iron, but we need the leather first. Okay, I'm just going to chuck a bunch of stuff in here and come back and upgrade our backpacks. Okay, there's our leather and we found ourselves a cute little location here, right on the beach. And then we can... What can we do? We can take this off and upgrade it. No? Oh, it's around a chest. Oh, baby backpack. Nobody wants a baby backpack. Put that there. And put them around. Nice. So dangerous. These guys are asleep. Find a graveyard. Well, I just did. Any hostiles here? Ah! That's a spawner. That is a skeleton spawner. I am out of here. <laughs> I am out of here. Oh my god. Please don't tell anyone. Alright, let's see what we can't find from these guys. What you got? Oh, nice! <laughs> Bit overly excited then, but uh, I was happy to see the iron. Somehow I picked up obsidian. I don't know when, I don't know how. So these regular bookshelves, nothing. When you right-click on these ones, the Arcanist ones, you get books. I quite know what they do. Something, something, something. Casting this spell will call down a beam of light from the sun itself, incinerating most foes. I don't know what that means. I think we should probably check our... Our quests here. What have we managed to do? We found the graveyard and got ourselves a tree tap. No artifacts yet. Arcanus. Oh, I need to get need to get some shards first. Okay. So we're getting a little bit organized here. Kind of plantables and stuff, and then, I don't know, everything else goes up here. So what was it? That goes in the middle. You surround it with iron. Bam. Wait a minute, these things are storage. Oh no, it's... I didn't get the achievement. I have to tick this. Tick. Backpacks are in for increased inventory. Chest for mass storage. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Danks. Did 
They should automatically be ticked. That's very frustrating. I need to get into Britannia for that first. A wooden staff. Ooh, wooden staff a building. So what was that? That was like this. And that guy makes a wooden staff of building. Which gives us a reward. A speed enhancer. All right. Basic tools. Drills and stuff. Okay. Get ourselves some stone. Uh, now we can make the stone wood. Stone, stone staff of building. Oh, what the? <laughs> I don't even know what happened then. Somehow I placed cobblestone. Does it show? Oh, it kind of has an outline of it, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, let's get some dirt. We will do a small tunnel. That oh, is going to make mining really easy. And we have dirt. What do I do? Do I... Oh. That was weird. Oh, it has durability as well. That's a shame. Could I do this? Aha! Look at that! <laughs> okay. Okay, so I collected the reward for the... Uh... Oh, you got to open it. Shift click to open. I collected the reward for crafting the stone staff, and it's this astral crate. Shift click to open. I guess I need to have it there. Shift right click. Oh my lord, look at that. Uh, you're not killing me. You're a giant Gekatoa. What do I do? Oh, I can ride it. It loves me. Nice. That's not anything down here, is it? No. I've always wanted a Gekatoa. Not sure these are rendering properly. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be on the top of that tower there. The first time it happened, I thought it was a glitch, but now it's happened twice. Actually, isn't there a an all-in-one tool? There is all-in-one tool. So if I get all of those, what's the durability like on these things? Shapeless. Mm, maybe later. I think we'll chill out with that one for now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. You got enough flowers over here? <laughs> Maybe forget that crummy little village that we found over there. This one is much more interesting. Just clean up a little bit, yeah? Free armor. Don't mind if I do. Oh, iron helmet. No one seems to mind. Uh oh. Oh wow. Wow, this chest here is insane. A totem of undying. That is nuts. What a nuts thing to find. Inky chest. You're an armor stand. What are you doing, man? Are you friendly? <laughs> hey. Hey there. Are you friendly? Yeah, it's a friendly ghost. Oh, what do you need? Some pumpkin seeds? Anybody know what ghosts need? This guy's drowning or something. Do you need a boat? Oh, I'm sorry. That's really quite sad. So let's set up our waystone right here. That's a good spot for it. Actually, I had a bit of a change of heart. I was just running around and came across these Crazy structures? Uh, definitely, definitely not vanilla. This guy really wants to be friends. There doesn't seem to be any structures up there, so maybe it's nothing. You turn around though, and what is this? Again, no structures. 
just really cool kind of jagged peaks. So I thought, you know, what better place to set up but here we can have this little island all to ourselves. And so I ran around. <laughs> this guy really wants to be on camera. So I ran around and uh, cut down all the trees. I threw down torches everywhere, maybe a bit too much. <laughs> but I figure no trees means no surprises. Uh, and by that I mean uh, creepers sneaking up and blowing holes in the ground. I did actually die here once. I think it was just here. Which is why we're down to, what are we on, 48 lives now. I was on like 66, 67. So definitely going to have to figure out a way to bank this XP as well before we venture out or get blown up again. Thankfully, you can press F7 and run around and it shows you where the spawnable blocks are. We have an island, we have a home, and we have a couple of cows that took me quite a while to get. I realized that uh, if we're going to get through some of these achievements, to get through some of these achievements like the... Um, get, have to build this backpack again, we'll need leather. I checked an enormous area for some leather. Uh, didn't have any luck. <laughs> Ended up coming all the way back over here, and I think there's one cow over here, and there's another cow down here, and I had to, to carry them all the way home. I also crafted our first waystone, and we chucked it here on the island. Uh, so I thought I was recording when I found this helmet, and uh, a few other things, and it turns out I forgot to press record. So when I found the netherite hoe and a, a couple of other things, which I have no idea what they do out in the world in a chest, um, yeah, we didn't get to capture it. So I'll, I'll resist the urge to go exploring until next episode and uh, yeah, make sure I press record next time. <laughs> I also want to get started on upgrading our storage to some of these mod packs because, uh, let's face it, we've all seen vanilla chests a million times. I need to lean into this mod pack as much as I can. So let's see. We've unlocked a few things here. Uh, found some pepper. Are you kidding me? A nether star just from finding peppers. These rewards here, these random rewards perhaps are a bit overpowered. <laughs> Where can we store our XP? So if you guys know any other ways to store experience, please let me know. But for the time being, we've got these two things. Uh, a book, which... XP Storage Handbook. Oh, that's probably just uh, information, isn't it? And this is the actual block in which we store XP. So let's get this book first and see how we go with that. Curse of Vanishing. Nobody wants that anyway. Nothing. Was it a blast furnace, was it? Craft, you need this thing. Oh, you need to smoke it out. Fire that up. And then we just combine that with a book. Okay, so I found out what this is. Colorful world. I was pressing U on it to uh, to see what, uh, to see what's an it is an ingredient in, but it turns out it's just a regular old book is cool. Welcome to Spectrum. Spectrum is a full feature mod about magic and exploration based on color color mixing of the subtracting color system. We'll get to that uh, in a little bit later. We're still getting set up here. Put you in there. We are going to get ourselves an XP book, but the thing that's holding us back at the moment is the uh, sugar cane. So we're going to go do a little bit of caving while these guys grow up. And uh, yeah, also here I've just started laying out some of the the unique wood types in this mod pack. It's very dark right here. So we can get a sense of what we want to build with. Oh my god, that is incredible. It's probably going to really uh, wear down the, the durability here. Down we go. Ah, so much for uh, doing a bit of mining. I think it might have despawned. Yeah, we're good. Losing lots of levels though. Oops. Make ourselves some paper. Paper and leather equals book. Book and XP 
dust equals XP storage handbook. XP obelisk mod introduces a safe method to store experience points inside a spiritual cage. They can store up to 21,000 levels. Okay. Items, XP storage, info, entry index. We make this, we need soul copper. Soul copper comes from soul copper ingots. Shift click for recipe. We need soul copper blend. And how do we get soul copper blend? Iron and soul stand. Okay. Okay. Sadly, that's not available for us at the moment because it'll need to, we'll have to go to that another first. Okay. So I've done a bit of a serious mining session. I don't know where these saplings. Uh, still undecided on which of these, um, which of these new guys to like the most. And I kind of hesitate to build anything until I've kind of got a good look at what's on offer, especially seen as with, um, with what you call it, the chisels. So with the chisels here, you can make all kinds of craziness. Every block has, uh, you know, 50 different types of, of uh, variations you can make. So I might put off building for now. So I had a bit of a look through the quest book to see what's possible to do this time around. And uh, yeah, found a few interesting things that we could do this episode to cap it off. And that'll make uh, our future endeavors much more enjoyable, easy, quicker. So I've separated out the sheep from the cow, the sheep from the cows. And uh, notice that we have this thing here called a feeding trough, which auto feeds nearby animals. That sounds like a great way to have them uh, eat and breed and I don't have to go over there so often put that in the middle, surrounded by some golden nuggets. Bam, we've got ourselves a golden carrot and wooden planks. All right, I've got some wood in here. There we have it, an automatic feeding trough. What do we get? We got a tin rotor. Thanks for that. Let's take what, what hay we have. I've started up a little farm over here just to get a few of everything. I might just replace it all with, with what's useful um, once I find out what that is. Let's put this, I don't know, right here in the middle. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am. Thank you. I know I do this. Do I just right click it? There we go. Storage is becoming a bit of an issue already. It's going to have to be something that I get under control. Uh, next up is this bejeweled backpack. And then we grab ourselves a one of these. Put it in the middle, surround it by leather. And it did unlock it. Oh, cool. I also got, I also, uh, it automatically unlocked this one, which is nice. Okay, get ourselves, oh, didn't, didn't like that one. Now, I doubt you lose the items. I really hope you don't. And there we have our diamond backpack. Let's see how big this thing is. Very nice. And we also get to grab some goodies. Grilled salmon, yum yum. A 1k ME fluid storage cell. Awesome. All right, let's do the same now with uh, chests. So, okay, make ourselves an iron chest. A matrix rod. Cool. And we just turn that into a golden chest. Surround that with iron to get an iron barrel. And a wither lamp. I'll take it. Yogurt. Awfully presumptuous of the game. Might have allergies. Bam. And bam. Diamond on either side and then this in the middle. And there's our diamond chest. We'll take this barrel, turn it into gold. There we go. Look at this. We're, <laughs> we're really blitzing through this. Okay, we'll collect those. Rewards, we got some diamond leggings. Yes, that's fantastic. Red beveled glass. No idea what that is. Potion bag. I don't have any potions, so. Now we are on to the dank. So dank one is just a barrel surrounded by coal. Will it take charcoal? 
We'll find out. I doubt it. Damn. How do I not have a ton of the stuff? Well, I definitely don't want to die with all this stuff on me. So let's just put it down. Whoa, that's a nice barrel. Okay. I imagine the chest is the same size. Yeah, that's incredible. Let's just jump down into the mine shaft and find some coal. There's our dank. Pick up. Seems to be four options for that. There's frequencies. Compress reversible three by three recipes. Whoa, that's really cool. Hmm, why wouldn't it compress those then? Aha. Uh -huh. That's pretty sick. So if I throw out these items and I come back, they'll have gone into the dank. Pick up all, filtered pick up, void pick up. Holy moly, I definitely want to avoid that one. Filtered pick up. So I suspect now the charcoal will go up here and the diamonds will come down here. Yeah, okay. All right, what else have we got here? A torch sling, which is, I imagine, something that shoots torches, which will become in handy for caving and and the such. Get ourselves, ourselves a torch sling. How far can we shoot this thing? <laughs> there it is. All right, let's see what that unlocked for us. This tank has given us an advanced storage unit. Got ourselves a fiery crate. These gadgets, which are from, I don't know what mod pack they're from. Uh, structured tools are pretty cool. I've played around with the uh, building gadget and exchanging gadget in the past. The copy paste would be fun, but, but anyway, I looked at the recipes. It's not so bad, right? As easy as that. That was very easy. Now we need to charge this thing. That's a, that's a question for later. Steel tank for that one and MK2 circuit. And there we have it. Uh, oh, there we don't have it. No, that must have been a graphical glitch. It didn't show the bottom iron block there. What's this look like? You put it there, you feed it. Charcoal. Okay, that gives us a charge, but then what do we do? You know? There you go, have some power. You too. <laughs> uh, big surprise, it didn't work. Okay, I guess I've got some homework to do then. Okay, we've progressed quite a lot through the quest book today. Got a whole bunch of gadgets that I can't seem to use, but as time goes on, I suspect we'll, we'll be able to put them to use. Hope to see you in the next episode. Bye for now.